Russian skater Adalia Petrosian jumped a quadruple flip in training. The video was published on the social network of the team Materi Tutbarids. Petrosian had previously performed a quadruple flip in training, but she had no successful attempts in competition. The 2018 Olympic champion in women's figure skating, skater Alina Zagatova will perform in a duet with singer Julia Zeviert, Zeviert, at the Lovers of Figure Skating Festival. According to the organizers, the duo will perform the skater's favorite song from the singer's repertoire. I'm very happy to be trying out a new thing. I've always loved singing, it's especially nice and reverent to perform a favorite song with an artist I admire. I'm grateful to the festival for giving me a valuable opportunity to realize my little dream," said Zagatova. The event will be held on February 14 at the CSK Arena in Moscow. In addition to Zagatova, it will also be attended by Olympic champions in the figure skating team tournament Camilla Voliva, Anastasia Messina, and Alexander Galiamov, European champions 2020 Alexandra Boakova and Dmitry Kozlowski, Grand Prix silver medalist Daria Yuzacheva and Grand Prix medalist Maya Kromik. The European Championships 2023 in Espo ended with a show. Luna Hendricks, the silver medalist of the European Championships, once again performed her beloved number to the song Loneliness by Ilana Vivi. The sexy black jumpsuit only emphasizes the figure skater chic sports figure. Luna goes for such bold and daring looks, the Belgian herself gets high as she performs. Walter Viertinen, a home crowd favorite, appeared as an old man. First, the 35-year-old skater portrayed a hunched-over man who has trouble skating. And then he threw off his headdress, leaving his shirt open, and went into a breakaway to the Queen's hit Don't Stop Me Now. Then he ripped off his shirt to a standing ovation. Suddenly, Walter's performance got too hot in the stands. Catherine Kurakova from Poland chose the soundtracks of the movie Pirates of the Caribbean for her demonstration number. Usually it suits more for guys, but Katya was a pretty good pirate. First, the skater came out in a black cape. When Kurakova takes it off, the audience sees a nice dress to match the image of the number. In the middle of the performance, Katya pulled out a saber and fought invisible enemies. You can see that the skater had a thoughtful approach to the performance, a lot of unusual tricks, including the phrases of the characters in the movie. Finland was not without a sensational image of Wednesday Adams. It was embodied on ice by the Swiss Kimi Rapone, the sensational bronze medalist of the European Championship. Rapone didn't bother with a black wig and hair dye. She lost the absentee show battle to Camilla Valiva. From the gala number still expect more emotions. Well, Anastasia Gubanova was the star of the evening. For her demonstration, the European champion chose Barbie Girl by the group Aqua. Gubanova was standing motionless at the beginning of the number, just like a real doll, and the same Rizzo took her to the ice. The bright pink costume and makeup matched the athlete perfectly. Even Nastia's heart-shaped glasses were pink. Then the skater came to life and went to rock. Gubanova took pom-poms, like the cheerleaders ones, and danced with them in the middle of the program to dilute the show. Ken Mateo appears again in the final number, together with Nastia Barbie they go away to the sound of a motorcycle. Russian figure skater Kamila Valyeva shared a video from the filming of singer Natalia Podolskaya's music video. I'm on the set of a music video. Don't worry, training is not missed, I have a planned day off today," Valyeva said. Two-time world champion pair skater Megan Demel of Canada supported the National Olympic Committee NOC, of Ukraine, which will consider a boycott of the 2024 Olympics if Russian athletes are admitted. I think more countries and sports federations should follow suit," Demel wrote on social media, posting a statement from Ukraine's NOC. Are you aware of the doping scandals in Russia? At least if you go back to 2014? If fighting is not a reason for a ban, a systematic doping program certainly is," she added in the comments. On January 25, the International Olympic Committee IOC, announced that it would assess the possibility of Russians and Belarusians performing in neutral status, provided the athletes comply with strict rules. 
Commentator Dmitry Gubernyev reacted to Canadian figure skater Megan Demel's words. It's her private opinion. Maybe she has a right to say that. She said, and that's fine. I don't doubt that the people who make the decision will have their own opinion. They won't shut her up. She has a right to say so. Most people think otherwise. Yes, in any case we have to be aware that large-scale boycotts are possible. The position of the International Olympic Committee becomes clear, but there is a great opposition, for example, in the federations of many sports, take biathlon, skiing, said Gubernyev. Italian Defense Minister Guido Crozetto said it was important to maintain contacts with Russia. I think it is wrong to treat all Russians as enemies. I have never shared the idea of excluding artists, athletes, civilians. We must keep the channels of dialogue open, the Corriere della Sera quoted the minister as saying. In 2026, Italy will host the next Winter Olympics. The Olympic champions on the team, bronze medalists of the 2022 Games in the Paris competition Anastasia Messina and Alexander Galiamov told how they entered the new season after the Olympics in Beijing. Did you have to get yourself back on track? Just for that purpose our coaches made us take a vacation longer than usual. We rested for a month and understood that we shouldn't stop because if we stand still, the opponents who were inferior during the season can close that gap. That's obvious, in my opinion, Galiamov tells RT. After the Olympics, I guess everyone has a slump because you're giving it your all. But when the off-season came, I noticed that our coaches were pulling our whole group, as they say, by the ears. They tried any way to get us all out of the state where we didn't want anything at all. In our group everything is always based on consciousness. Both Tamara Nikolaevna, Moskvina, and Artur Leonidovich, Minchuk, were talking to us a lot, taking a very friendly interest in whether we wanted to continue skating or were determined to finish skating immediately. And somehow, very quickly Sasha and I decided that we wanted to continue skating. Were there any doubts about this? No. We had a really good rest at the sea, separately from each other, from the coaches, and we forgot about figure skating for this month absolutely, said Messina.